In part 13 of the build guide, we finish reorganizing the body harness to fit the goblin. The headlight harness needs to be unwrapped just like the harnesses in the earlier videos. Cut all of the plastic clips and then remove the plastic loom and electrical tape. Cut and remove the orange and yellow twisted wires. Pull out the ambient temperature sensor harness and set it aside for later. Next, the window washer plug needs to be removed. Hook up the horn to make sure you don't cut the wrong plug out. First, cut out the black wire and trace the orange wire back to the white multi-plug. Pull the lid off the multi-plug and cut the orange wire. Tape the wires coming out of the multi-plug, then reinstall the lid. Cut off the ground lug. Cut off both headlight plugs. Leave a few inches of wire attached to the plugs and don't cut the ground wires. Continue taping the multi-plug wires until just 3 inches of the ground wire is left exposed. Find the temp sensor wires coming out of the fuse box. Connect them to the temp sensor harness that was removed from the headlight harness. Cut the wires on both sides to eliminate the connector. Solder the temp sensor wires. Then tape 24 inches of wires before taping them to the body harness. Insert the headlight harness multi-plug into the fuse box and route the harness under the box. Tape the headlight harness to the body harness. Find the leftover ground lug that had the thick defroster wire. Remove the defroster wire and bolt the lug to the tunnel ground lugs attached to the body harness. Tape the ground wires back to the body harness. Find the thickest of the ground wires and route it toward the fuse box. Cut this wire leaving one inch of overlap with the three inch headlight ground wire. Solder these wires together. Match one of the headlight plugs with the headlight wire closest to the fuse box. Find four leftover wires that are at least nine feet long to extend the driver's side headlight wires. Solder the extension wires to these fuse box wires. Try to match the gauge of wire attached to the headlight plug. Afterwards, take note of the colors that you connected. Route the wires along the body harness and cut them about a foot past the BCM. Now solder the headlight plug to the extension wires. Make sure you match the colors that you wrote down earlier. Use wires that are at least 5 feet long to extend the other headlight wires. Cut the wires to match the other headlight extensions and then solder the headlight plug to the extensions. Tape about 4 inches of the headlight plugs. Then tape the two plugs side by side. Continue taping until the shorter headlight ground wire has only 3 inches left exposed. Cut the longer ground wire to match. Route the headlight wires toward the BCM. Pull two ground wires from the tunnel lugs toward the headlight grounds. 
Cut the ground wires with one inch of overlap and then solder one to each of the headlight ground wires. Tape 24 inches back from the headlight plugs. Cut and extend the green horn wire by at least 10 feet. Route the wire with the body harness and cut it 24 inches past the BCM. Solder the extension wire to the horn connector pigtail. Pull the last ground wire toward the BCM. Cut the ground wire one inch past the horn pigtail ground. Solder the ground wires together. Route the horn wires past the BCM. The next steps are only necessary if your car is an automatic. Unwrap the shifter wires and cut the two that go toward the BCM. Solder two 20 inch extensions between the connector and the wires going toward the BCM. Tape from the connector back to the body harness. Tape the harness starting next to the fuse box. Work your way toward the back of the box and then double back and wrap up to within 6 inches of the main connector. In the next video, we'll combine the dash harness with the body harness.